Hey guys, welcome back to uh, the channel. This is uh, part two of the ride out to Oakham. So this is just where we left off uh, at the traffic lights in Uppingham. And off we jolly well go. Don't forget guys to uh, like, subscribe and uh, get notified of new, uh, new videos coming up. Just here on the right, we're passing the uh, Harley Davidson showroom. Some fabulous bikes in there. Uppingham's quite a, a nice little market town. It's got some nice restaurants here, and they have a market once a week. Uh, they've got a really nice school, which is very similar to Haberdasher's Asks ever heard of that uh, all the pupils kind of um, wear cloaks it's very 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 much like uh, uh, Harry Potter so we're just coming uh, up to the last uh, roundabout before we enter the final stage of uh, this little ride out up to Oakham and then on to Langham. This is a really great road. I really like this road. I've probably said it in the last video but this is one of the last ride outs that I'm going to do uh, on this Royal Enfield Meteor um, sadly I am exchanging it for another bike uh, I, I've only had this for about two or three months and I've really really enjoyed this bike there's nothing wrong with it Maybe a little bit slow on the takeoff and uh, a little bit limited on the uh, top speed, but for a, a cruiser, it is fantastic. Uh, and I just love the bike. It's smooth, it's so easy to handle on the bends. Uh, I would recommend anyone wants to start off in cruising, just grab this bike. I mean, for under four thousand pounds on the road. You can't get, you just can't get that, for, uh, and that's brand new. You just can't get that in this country anywhere else. Royal Enfield Meteor. I really recommend it. So this is uh, one of the first villages. We're going to have to slow down a tad here. Not much on offer in this uh, village. There might be some walks about here, but not that I know of. But there is a village with some nice walks. Um, if you take a turn coming up here on the right, it will take you down to a village called Wing. Now that is that is really nice that's a really nice village it's got some nice pubs down there and it's got some nice walks around there in fact I used to go fishing carp fishing around there just that's the right turn there that will take you down to wing uh, some camping grounds around there it's it's well worth a visit really nice place in Rutland some of the views on this road are absolutely superb this uh, little stretch here which goes downhill will take us up to Manton and the start of Rutland Water now that is a place for, for you to spend a day um, if you're a cyclist it's great it's about 25 miles ride all the way round Rutland Water and as I understand it, Rutland Water is the largest inland, re uh, inland reservoir in this country. 
It's absolutely fantastic. Nice place to go. Some nice things to see. That cloud's still looking a bit menacing. Don't fancy the ride back in the rain if it um, if it does chuck it. <laughs> That's the right turn that takes you up to the north side, uh, sorry, the south side of uh, Rutland Water and Manton. The vista here is really nice. You can take it all in on this nice little cruise. You don't need to go fast, 50, 60 mile an hour. This uh, stretch here is just a 50 mile hour stretch and it is really, really nice. light bike it's great fun if you do take this ride up to Oakham from uh, Corby uh, on a weekend watch out for cyclists uh, they are in their abundance here Birdwatching Centre, which is where Bird Fair used to hold their regular annual exhibition, massive exhibition. Uh, sadly, they've now moved, um, but they moved to uh, another site just up the road, actually, um, Rutland Showground, which again is quite a massive site. Um, and I volunteer to do work there. Uh, as security um, when when they have their exhibition on and it's a great great day out it really is that's the turning that will take you up to uh, the East Anglian Bird Watching Centre Just going to do a little left turn here, which will take us into Oakham. Go. that cloud seems to be in the same position all the time so it doesn't seem to be moving I could be lucky on my way home right this is over we've just entered Oakham now uh, the uh, one of the main roads into the town centre these traffic lights. Oop, and here we are. This is the start of Oakham Town Centre. There's a right turn on this mini roundabout which will take you down to Stamford. That's another lovely ride which takes you on the north side of the 
Rutland Water uh, quite all the way along. That is a great ride. Oh, looks like they've got a uh, beer festival on here today. That's cracking. It's quite crowded. Yep, beer stalls there. Everything seems to be open. Quite a few people around here. Sadly, the shops here um, were fantastic about 10 years ago. Uh, but in that 10 year time span, um, a lot of shops have shut down. And in place, we've got, had charity shops spring up everywhere. But there's still enough for you to look at if you fancy a day here. It's a great pub here on the left. They do nice food. Could well recommend that. A little sharp and narrow bend here, which will take us up to the Oakham railway station and the railway crossing. Word of advice, try not to get caught here. You can be sitting here for about 15 minutes sometimes. Here we go. Look at that, see the clouds in the same place and I've turned turn corners and it's intimidating me. Just a little bit lovely jubbly okay this uh, road eventually takes us through another village Barleythorpe which will be the penultimate village before we reach Langham which is where I'm just going to see a mate of mine See the roads are nice and clear here. Not a lot of traffic. Really nice ride. There you go. Blink and you'll miss it. That was Barleythorpe. take us uh, to the last roundabout on this section before we get into Langham. Well, I'd like to uh, thank you guys for our watching the video and seeing this little ride out in, in two parts uh, first to Uppingham and then this one to uh, Oakham and then Langham uh, it is a lovely ride out it allows you about 40 minutes um, just do it get on your bike and do it going to do a little right here into Langham village itself again it's a very very small village um, if we were to continue around to the left that would take us into Melton Malbury that's another nice ride which we'll do one day don't forget to uh, like subscribe and click the bell like subscribe and click that bell for notifications of new videos coming up and there's quite a few videos coming up which will uh, be reviews on camera kit for your bikes camera kit for bird watching 
and of course ride outs throughout the UK. There we go, we're going to do a right turn here and uh, bend here just sit here and we're going to do a little yui do a little that's a bit of a sharp stop brakes are good on this bike i tell you that now uh, let's get myself sorted that cloud is still there wherever i look at it it's always in front of me a little bugger get around there I think what we'll do is uh, we'll park up on the curb certainly not going to park up his drive it's gravel done that before I've been stuck on gravel not nice there we go okay guys thanks for watching have a good day ride safe and see you all soon